हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फ्लिज बीम व्हाट इज दिस फ्लिज बीम और कंपोजिट बीम समटाइम्स आवर बीम एट विच सम लोड इज अप्लाइड आर वेरी वीक सो लाइक वुडन बीम्स राइट से वी हैव वुडन बीम एम एंड सम लोड इज अप्लाइड टू दिस वुडन बीम and it is very weak in you know that bending like this i am making a bigger beam i am making a bigger beam so that uh, i can show the cross section of this beam like this right and some load is applied to this beam and say this is a wooden beam it is a wooden beam you know wooden beam had uh, this type of fibers so this is a wooden beam like right? and this is the length of the beam length of the beam and cross section will be like this this is the cross section of the beam this wooden beam like this right so it is b width of the beam and it is the depth of the beam and you know that wood is uh, weak in normal stresses uh, weak stresses uh, the stresses will be developed and it can break right some load is applied on this right so what we can do is we can make we can use the plates metal plates all along its length metal plates all along its length so that it will become a composite beam and the bending moment which is uh, obtained from this w will be shared by the steel material also right so some of the bending moment will be shared by the steel material and some of the stresses will be shared by the steel material so some stresses will be developed in the steel or metal whatever we are using and some stresses will be developed in the wood and the wood will become the safe under loading right so what we can do is we are applying on this length on this entire length on this plate of some thickness some thickness steel plate we want to use on both sides suppose on this side which is visible and at the back of this side this is a rectangular beam right so we can use steel plates like this or some thickness say we are using the same thickness steel plate like this 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 was our wood and this is the steel plate applied steel plate or whatever material uh, we can use any metal we can use this and this steel plate say has thickness of let us say t thickness on both side we have applied the steel plate of thickness t so by using this by using this it will become a composite beam composite beam or it is called fluid beam in this composite beam when we uh, apply a load bend bending moment will be shared but the strain develop straining straining of this material will be uniform you know that what is the uh, go to the our simple stresses first chapter where we have studied the composite bars in composite bars uh, i am showing the figure in composite bar what would happen you should remember that same will be applied here in first chapter you have studied about the composite bars like this this is a composite bar say this is one material and this is another material and we have applied and this is a plate at which this is uh, connected and some load is applied some load is applied by applying the load there will be some deformation in the bar there will be some deformation in this bar and you know that the deformation will be uniform the deformation will be same throughout 
throughout the deformation will be same deformation will be same and the load will be shared by this material and this material right so we have obtained two equations you should remember that that we have obtained two equations that the change in length was uniform same for both the materials so we have written that delta l1 should be equal to delta l2 right and because the length of the material was same length of the material is same length of the both the beams is same so the strain will also same so we can write for this the strain in one should be equal to strain in two and talking about this material which we have studied in our uh, simple stresses strain in one should be strain in two so delta l1 by l should be equal to delta l2 by l2 strain should be same in both the material um, because if uh, change in length is same then strain should have been same right and the load was shared so p must be equal to p1 plus p2 depending on the uh, material of the being of modulus of elasticity of the material right so this was the case of simple stresses remember the first chapter the simple stresses where there was uh, where there was a composite bars were there two bars were there and they were applied with a load p through a single connected plate so strain was same or you can say change in length was same remember the formula also for that uh, p1 l1 upon a1 e1 should be equal to p2 l2 upon a2 e2 so this was the formula and change in length upon original length uh, strain will be same and the load will be shared equally same will be the case here same will be the case here here what is happening is the straining developed in this material strain developed in this material this is the neutral axis of this material neutral axis the strain in and developed in wood suppose one is wood uh, another is steel so this is steel and uh, this is wood and this material is steel steel so strain uh, developed in wood will be equal to strain developed in steel so two equations can be obtained from here that the strain developed in wood should be equal to strain developed in steel i am talking about this fleshed beam now fleshed beam or composite beam strain developed in wood will be equal to strain developed in steel and what is the strain what is strain strain is stress upon modulus of elasticity here we can use that concept that stress in wood upon modulus of elasticity of wood should be equal to stress in steel upon modulus of elasticity of the steel or from here you can write that sigma you can put here sigma uh, sigma s sigma s upon sigma w sigma s upon sigma w will be equal to uh, sigma s upon sigma w will be equal to uh, es upon ew es upon ew right so modulus of elasticity of the ratio of modulus of elasticity to steel to wood will be equal to stress produced in steel to wood right so from here next new term will be introduced that is called modular ratio m m what is that m m is called m is called modular ratio modular ratio what is that ratio modular ratio so this is the ratio of uh, elastic constants or uh, modulus of elasticity of the steel to modulus of elasticity of wood and you know that this is equal to sigma s by sigma w so from here you can find out sigma s will be equal to m times sigma w so this should be remembered right from here we have obtained this equation this is equation number one this is equation number two that the ratio of stresses will be equal to the ratio of their modulus of elasticity or the stress in steel will be equal to m times stress in wood right and you know that es is always greater than ew es is greater than ew the modulus velocity of steel is greater than modulus velocity of wood in that case sigma s will be greater than sigma w so higher stress will be developed in steel compared to wood and the modulus elastic modulus ratio modular ratio will be greater than 1 for from here 
we conclude to these points that sigma s is greater than sigma w or m is greater than 1 or we know already that from the properties of the material that modulus of elasticity of the steel will be greater than the modulus of elasticity of the wood. So this is the uh, properties of flitch beam. But what is the bending moment? Total bending moment. Total bending moment will be shared some by wood and some by steel. So what will be the total bending moment in this case? Let us proceed further. So what is the bending moment? Total bending moment of this beam, right? So you know the formula, our basic formula, bending equation that m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r. This equation is very important bending equation which we have derived in our previous lectures m by i sigma by y e by r and in terms of stress we already know the stress sigma is equal to m sigma w we can take first two equations m by i is equal to sigma by y from that the m will be equal to m the total bending moment will be shared by wood plus steel so we can write total m will be equal to m shared by wood plus m shared by the steel so moment of resistance of the wood plus moment of resistance of the steel will be the total moment of resistance right so this is the another equation equation number three from this what is mw mw that is equal to sigma multiplied by the section modulus i by y right sigma in wood multiplied by section modulus or i by y max so that will equal to sigma w multiplied by z z of wood right z of wood right so what is z of wood z or uh, z for rectangular section we have already studied that is the moment of inertia upon the length distance from the neutral axis of the outer fiber so this is bd square by 6 we have already studied bd square by 6 so mw will be equal to sigma z so this is sigma w multiplied by bd square by 6 this we have already studied in the chapter of section modulus the moment of resistance of the wood that is sigma multiplied by section modulus and section modulus is bd square by 6 right this is the moment of resistance of the wood what is the moment of resistance of the steel ms ms will be equal to sigma s multiplied by zs section modulus of the steel and stress produced in the steel so what is stress induced in the steel that is sigma s is equal to m times sigma w what is zs zs so that is equal to sigma s multiplied by z bd cube by 12 that formula is same now b is the thickness thickness of the steel what is thickness this is t plus t because t is applied on both sides on this side on this side we have applied the steel and also on opposite to this right so this is uh, b is the um, bd square by 6 so b is 2t basically right so this is 2t is the width and d d is the depth depth is same 2t d square by 6 so we can write so ms will be equal to sigma s is m times sigma w modular ratio multiply sigma w so m sigma w uh, into 2t d square by 6 so this is the uh, moment of resistance of the steel and total moment of resistance will be sum of these two so we can write m will be equal to m will be equal to sigma w bd square by 6 sigma w bd square by 6 plus m sigma w m sigma w 2t d square by 6 2t d square by 6 right so m can be taken out sigma w can be taken out sigma w and d square can also be taken out so sigma w multiplied by uh, b plus 2tm b plus 2tm 
multiplied by d square by 6. So this is the total moment of resistance of the fleshed beam. Total moment of resistance of the fleshed beam. Right? Sigma W B plus 2M D square by 6. So this is the total moment of resistance of the fleshed beam. Right? Now you can see here. This is the width. This is sigma W. You can compare with this MW. This is sigma W sigma w b d square by 6 and this is b is replaced with b plus 2 tm so this is b equivalent you can write here b equivalent b equivalent right so this is b equivalent and that is equal to b plus 2 tm width plus 2 tm B plus 2 tm, right? So this is the equivalent width for a fleshed beam. If this would have been the wooden beam, right? So it if it would have been the wooden beam, right? So you can see here, we can write here that moment of resistance of the fleshed beam is same as that of wooden beam of width B plus 2 mt. So moment of resistance, we can write here that moment of resistance of fleshed beam, fleshed beam, fleshed beam, the moment of resistance of the fleshed beam is same, is same as that of, as that of wooden beam, because we are taking sigma w here, wooden beam of same depth, of same depth depth is same d is same but but width equal to b plus 2m width as b plus 2tm so moment of resistance of flesh beam is equal to the same material wood of wooden so of that of wooden beam of same depth depth is same but the width should be b plus 2tm right so this is the concept of fleshed beam or composite beam.